our eyes crave baths of light, the flickering playground of shivering stars, an image of a blue arc on the rim coiling around clusters of galaxies, the vivid shimmer behind you in the garden as the torch frames your silhouette in the dark. We long for a glimpse of planets in slow motion, counting them long into the balcony of the night. So after we see quasars in the distance, distorted, we want to understand how mass bends the light, how dark matter halos assemble over time by gravity, their complex webs cushioning around baryonic matter, or black holes infer their presence from distant stars or flowing accretion disks. Gravity flexes the structure of space-time, warping light from travelling in its straight line, as if a universal river pools at the sides of invisible stone, the brightness lit from behind. When a large galaxy becomes the front-view focal lens, far-off galaxies are magnified and curved, arching at the frames. Strong and weak lensing enhance surrounding or further set stellar hives. Some nurseries, billions of years in our past. If the foreground mass, background and observer are perfectly aligned, this Einstein ring resembles the imprint of a cereal bowl abandoned for morning play a seemingly concentric stain. We try to see beyond what is immediately visible and illuminate what is known but concealed. Our bare eyes in the coldness of night, peering through a telescope, unable to locate most of the weight of the universe, missing out on all the things we cannot see.